Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, good afternoon. It is my honor as chairperson of the Committee on Finance and the Subcommittee on Senate Bills Number 1162-1167 to sponsor Senate Bill Number 1395, an act right-sizing the national government to improve public service delivery and for other purposes. This bill is a consolidation of Senate bills filed by Majority Floor Leader Senator Vicente Soto III, Senators Gregorio Onasan and Miguel Zubiri, and this humble representation. Said bills have been considered, studied, and deliberated, and took into consideration the inputs from different government agencies, resource persons, and stakeholders. Over the years, government has grown into a system with a tendency for overexpansion and unnecessary self-perpetuation in several sectors of society. This resulted in different government agencies having overlapping, duplicative, or redundant operations and functions, sometimes becoming ineffective and inefficient in the delivery of basic services. Furthermore, the overlapping structure also burdens government with unnecessary costs. In fiscal year 2017 budget message, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte himself expressed concern over the size of our bureaucracy. Specifically, he noted that although the expansion of the bureaucracy is a response to the growing demand for public services, there is still fact in government that we must trim. From 176 agencies in 2000, there are now 186 agencies in the national government. Moreover, the national government workforce currently stands at 1.6 million compared to 1.1 million positions in 2000. The increase in the number of government agencies without doubt has a significant impact on our budget. For 2017, 29.57% of our budget of 3.35 trillion or 990.5 billion pesos is allocated for personnel services, PS. This is an increase in the share of PS from 27.05%, 812 billion pesos in 2016 and 28.62% or 746 billion in 2015. Aside from these budgetary implications, a big bureaucracy has a negative impact on government performance and efficiency. For example, the overlapping jurisdictions and redundant functions of several agencies result in confusing regulatory rules, duplicating requirements, red tape, and inefficient delivery of public goods and services, which could be detrimental to the Filipino people. Moreover, to continue funding these redundant and outdated agencies is certainly a waste of our limited resources. Mr. President, it is time we address the inefficiencies brought about by the fat in government by rationalizing and right-sizing the functions and organizational structure of the different agencies in the executive branch. With the passage of this bill, the national government will implement a right-sizing program that would further enhance the government's institutional capacity, thereby giving more value to taxpayers' money and be responsive to the changing demands of the public. May we highlight that the program is a function-based effort, which means that it aims to refocus government efforts to the performance of its core and essential functions and to improve delivery of services to the people. This program will help agencies simplify their respective systems and processes as well adopt productivity enhancement measures to reduce the processing time of transactions and to eliminate unnecessary regulatory requirements, thereby providing faster and high quality services to the public. This bill will cover all agencies in the executive branch, including departments, bureaus, offices, commissions, boards, 
councils and all other entities attached to or under their administrative supervision, as well as government-owned and controlled corporations, GOCCs not covered by RA number 10149 or the GOCC Governance Act of 2011. The legislature, the judiciary, the constitutional commissions, office of the ombudsman, and local government units may, within their respective authorized appropriations and financial capability, likewise right-size the respective offices consistent with the principles and guidelines contained in the bill. On the other hand, the Governance Commission for GOCCs will continue to exercise its authority under RA 10149 to reorganize, merge, streamline, abolish, or privatize any GOCC in consultation with the agency to which the GOCC is attached. Specifically, this bill will provide the President of the Philippines with the authority to right-size the executive branch in accordance with the guiding principles, policies, standards, and guidelines under this proposed legislative measure. The President will be empowered to, first, pursue the following function shifts and modifications. A to strengthen functions of the agency which directly contribute to the targeted ultimate societal outcomes of the national government or the targeted sector outcomes of the agency. B, scale down, phase out, eliminate or discontinue functions, programs, projects or activities that could be better carried out or undertaken by the private sector or have already devolved to local governments. C, transfer, integrate, functions from one agency to another which could better perform the same. Second, the President may also undertake the following organizational actions. A. Regularize ad hoc offices whose functions are vital and significant, thus must be continually undertaken by government. B. Merge or consolidate agencies whose functions are unnecessarily overlapping or duplicating. C split agencies with multifarious functions which are deemed distinct but with equally important aspects of governance. D. Transfer offices to other agencies where their functions are more aligned. E. Abolish agencies whose functions are already redundant or no longer relevant or necessary or could be better undertaken by another entity which are no longer achieving the objectives and purposes for which they were originally created which are not cost effective since they do not generate the desired level of outputs and outcomes vis-a-vis -vis the resource inputs and or which have already become non-operational or dormant or have outlived its purpose. A committee on right sizing the executive branch will be created to oversee the implementation of the program composed of the executive secretary as chairman, the secretary of budget and management as co-chair, with the secretary of social economic planning, chairperson of the civil service commission, and the head of the presidential management staff as members. A joint congressional oversight committee to oversee to monitor, evaluate the implementation of this act will likewise be created to be composed of five members each from the Senate and the House of Representatives. May I highlight that the implementation of the program shall not involve forced retirement or forced separation of affected regular employees. Regular personnel whose positions would be affected in the implementation of the program shall have the option to avail of retirement benefits and separation incentives or be placed by the CSC in agencies needing additional personnel. Given the changes in the economic and social political environment in our country, it is high time, Mr. President, my distinguished colleagues, to rationalize or right size the organization and operations of the agencies of government to respond to the increasing public demand for faster, high quality, and more effective and efficient delivery of services. In light of the foregoing, I enjoin my colleagues to support this very important legislative measure. Thank you, Mr. President.